It was a sigh of relief for so many that have been struggling to get by. Since February, fuel prices have gone up by more than 30 percent and has started to make everything more expensive. So the measure announced last night by the Minister of Finance to reduce the general fuel levy by one rand fifty is obviously welcome news. I think any reduction um, to the price consumers are going to pay is, is going to be welcome. The, the forecast was for very significant increases um, when the price is adjusted next Wednesday. Um, and obviously this is taking a little bit of the knock off that increase. Filling up a tank costs on average around $70. It's not only about getting around. These fuel increases have impacted transport, logistics and supply costs. The Russia-Ukraine conflict is adding to the pressure. Russia produces quite a lot of the, of the oil that is used in Europe. Germany, France and all those other countries buy oil from Russia. And unfortunately, by the time this war started, we were already dealing with um, OPEC, not increasing production. So the price of oil and anything that's derived from oil was just going up unreasonably. So if you look at where we are now, this price is coming from 130 odd US dollars at the beginning of the escalation of the tensions uh, between Russia and Ukraine. It's come back now to about 111. But it's only a slight and temporary reprieve. The fuel levy will decrease by one rand fifty next week and remain in place until the end of May. It's cushioning the blow, but it's still going to be significant pain. South Africa's fuel price is already in record territory. The big concern is uh, the short and medium term impact on inflation of a higher oil price. We can control the price as long as we want, but uh, if we cannot protect the consumer. I went into a shop yesterday and for the first time I bought bread for more than 20 rands. So the problem for me is the inflation that's going to affect uh, the men in the street. It's an interim measure, but at this point, every cent counts. Sumitra Nadu, CGTN, Johannesburg, South Africa.